I'm currently running Starburst Enterprise here, which um, for me works pretty darn good. I've got my you know list of um, uh, schemas and uh, excuse me catalogs and schemas and ultimately even tables in there. I'll drill all the way down to maybe um, this catalog, this schema, and maybe one of these tables, something like this guy. I might even come over here and just have it write me a quick query. Hey, find me a few records in there and run that and works great for me. Now you may choose to say, hey, I want another tool. And uh, maybe I'll do a quick demo of just connecting um, a popular tool called dBeaver up to that. And uh, the good news about dBeaver, it may be different on your tool. You might have to um, you know, locate the JDP driver and all those good things. But dBeaver you know, already knows about a lot of different connections, including Trino, Trino's the under line engine that we build Starburst on top of. So what do I need for a connection? Well, I definitely need to go, you know, as you saw, create a new connection, pick Trino, and then it really just wants to know the connection details. This is pretty uh, uh, normal stuff. So I'm gonna grab the server here, and I'll put that right about here instead of localhost. I know the port is actually uh, 8443, and I know my username, so let me put that in there, whoops. Reverse the surface and put a quick password. Keep uh, holds onto that. And because I am using SSL, but I'm not using uh, SSL as you can probably see at the top there where it's actually being verified, and I'm got a just kind of a uh, little test environment verification. I'm gonna go to a few other properties in here that will actually uh, let uh, uh, dBeaver connect up with uh, kept up, connect up nicely with Starburst Enterprise. So I'm not going to verify SSL, but I have the SSL. So I'm going to do a quick test connection, make sure things look look uh, good and copacetic. They do. I'll go back to the um, connection itself, and now I'll just do a, a connect up to it and cross our fingers. All should go uh, pretty darn smooth. Looks like a little red green checkbox showed up. And if I toggle this, if I move over here, um, you know, what you see on the left is what I should see on the right. And that's, that's true. There's a list of catalogs. Pick on this particular catalog. And then we had a log demo, log demo. And same, same. We had a table called, you know, a variety of tables. I'm going to focus on maybe just this one. Legs. Uh, yep, yep. Logs part. And I'm going to just build a query like we saw before so I'll pop a query window up it references that guy and uh I'll select all from uh, hive dot log demo dot um that one that just put a limit of uh, 20 on there just for giggles highlight it run it and if all goes well there we go i got some results and because we're using a uh, fully qualified catalog schema and then table uh, uh, definitions here for every single table that we're querying table review we could do all of our uh, query federation and everything else we would have done uh, that we're able to do in the starburst enterprise web ui as well so just want to quickly show no problems at all uh, connecting under the covers with jdbc or odbc to starburst enterprise all right thanks a bunch